Thank you, man. Well, I've come here tonight to talk about being different, and I wanted to show you what I was talking about. <laughs> being different as American. How many different Americans are here tonight? You can tell you're American when you put away the groceries and you fold up the bag, you put it between the refrigerator and the wall. <laughs> you're an American. When you look underneath the sink in the kitchen, in an American's house, there's a rag getting stiff over the pipe. <laughs> you're an American. In America, a man is free to buy weights to get in shape and put them in the garage with an electric garage door opener. <laughs> America, and the women are free to say things like, how could I be overdrawn? I still have checks. <laughs> it's America. In America, the kids can get in trouble at shul <laughs> for pronouncing it the way it's spelled, right kids? I used to get in trouble at school for acting smart. <laughs> Once I got an F on a question that asked my opinion. <laughs> I got my opinion wrong. <laughs> my opinion was of the school. I said, your home ec teachers are divorced, your coaches are fat, and the shop teachers don't have all their fingers. <laughs> So I couldn't relate. I would play hooky. Now, if they catch you playing hooky, you know what they do? The smart thing. They kick you out. <laughs> he won't come, we won't let him. <laughs> but I wasn't learning anything. It ain't American to learn rules I before E except after C. If Einstein listened to that, he couldn't write his name. <laughs> He's got it wrong twice. <laughs> It ain't American anyway. Americans don't care if the E or the I comes first. You just make kind of an I looking E and kind of an E looking I and you put the dot in the middle. <laughs> but these schools is confusing. They like our language because it's confusing. Makes you hunch over the desk and memorize instead of running outside and playing. That's free and liberated, uncontrolled, looks dangerous. They want you hunching over your desk, memorizing O-N-E is one. Even though it sounds like it ought to have a wah-wah at the front. <laughs> Where's the wah-wah in one? There's an E you don't need, but there ain't no wah-wah. <laughs> then you look at two, there's a wah-wah you don't need. <laughs> Could that be the wah-wah from one that slipped down into two? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's look at this. What's this, gang? Wah. B-O-M-B, bomb. T-O-M-B, Tom? Oh, no. no, that'd be too easy. <laughs> You'd learn that and run outside and play. That's tomb. If that's tomb, is that boom? No, that's bomb. <laughs> that's tomb, that's comb. <laughs> <laughs> this is why spelling bees are only won by introverted little ugly girls. <laughs> Try to use your brain. Figure this out. C-O-M-B, comb. P-O-M-B, poem. <laughs> no, that'd be too easy. Poem is P-O-E-M. <laughs> okay, P-O-E-M, poem. Use your brain now. H-O-E-M, home. <laughs> Sit back down. Home is H-O-M-E. All right, H-O-M-E, home. S-O-M-E, some. <laughs> No, that's some. S-O-M-E, some. N-O-M-E, numb. No, numb is N-U-M. Can you believe it? B. Do a commercial, and then we're going to do a lot of talking, okay? All right, let's do a commercial. So we'll be right back after this message of interest. Stay tuned. Whenever you come here, you are so, so funny up there that I almost find, like, I don't know what to ask you. What, what, because I just... 
Whatever I say is going to be fine. I'm, what are you going to talk about? Oh, what are you going to talk about? I can just talk about anything. I think the fact that I'm just free and open to talk, me and you, we don't, we don't have a political career, so we don't care, you right. know? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say Madonna's not a virgin, you know? Because, uh... You're kidding me. No, she's not a virgin. <laughs> you know what the virgin... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shouldn't I say this? Who's going to say it in America? If the president has the same thing on his nose he had in his Oval Office, <laughs> somebody's got to say something. I think the world's laid out backwards, Joan. It just seems to me just, just kind of backwards. Who do we look to for sexual advice? Dr. Ruth. <laughs> Does she look like a woman you would ask for advice? She doesn't even pick out the right clothes. Uh, I, I, I agree with you on this. Ruth, I, I want to hear Mr. Ruth. I want to hear how happy he yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you look at Dr. Ruth because it's like a mother telling you things, you know? But what does my mom know? She married my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you wouldn't talk about? Anything you wouldn't say? I talk, I, yes, I talk about everything so that people don't think I just harp on one thing. But I talk like a babysitter. I'm the oldest in my family. I took care of everybody, including my parents. I know if you want the dishes clean before you put them in the dishwasher, you have to wash them. <laughs> a dishwasher only makes them hot. <laughs> right? You leave. You know, you're at the house a lot. Well, now. I got a new dishwasher. My dishwasher actually cleans. It does clean. I mean it. Well, if you leave, it, if and you I'm leave lazy. You know, the sauce, everything goes right in there. Well, it know. comes out still on there. It's just dry and oh. hot. <laughs> <laughs> then you get it off with your finger and you lick it off. You're a great house. What a house this guy must have. <laughs> what about your house? Do you invent a lot? What, what's your latest invention? My latest invention is uh, Happy House. This is a program for everybody to leave their Christmas tree lights up on their house all year long so you don't kill yourself twice. <laughs> <laughs> then during the year, if anything happy happens at your house, you just turn on your lights and everybody in the neighborhood knows you have a happy house. <laughs> you like this idea? I have an anti-nuclear device to stop this war threat and all these problems. We swap pets. See, I give them their, our dogs, they give us their dogs, and you don't ever bomb a country that has your pet. <laughs> Am I the only one that sees this stuff? No, no. Yeah, how come you do, you come on with the bike, you come on with all this, you never, I don't mean this pushy, but as a hostess, you should bring me something every once in a while, you should bring me a little You're... token. I did this time. You know, uh, Did you really buy me something? Yes. Bring me something? Well, there was a bunch of bad watermelons out for a while, you know? <laughs> so I found one at the store. I had this funny, uh, instead of a vine, it had like a cord. And uh, so I plugged it in. And uh, you got a hold of it there? 